The minister received Irene Duku's chilling text message on the 26th of June this year. It read, quote, Mutola Kilonzo, be ready to die. We were sent by our boss, Bonface Ndiani Mutwiwa, 0737051194 or 0728511670 to come to your place, Runda, this weekend and rape your wife and your daughter and shoot you to death. So we have to follow his instructions. Doku's message went on to explain that her boss works as a caretaker along State House Road, Bailway Gardens. She further wrote that her boss was the one who gave orders to have Imenti Central MP Gitobu Imanyara threatened. Gitobu Imanyara has since gone public claiming that he was accosted while driving along State House Road by unknown people who forced him to pledge loyalty to presidential aspirant Uhuru Kenyatta to save his life. Mutula also raised the matter in Parliament. He is the one who connected explosion in town at Asanan's house, in Gara Church, even in Mombasa, and many places. The message continues. He has big connections with the Al-Shabaab. So, Mutula, be ready to die this coming weekend. We will even explode your whole house in Runda. End quote. Today, the courtroom saw the face behind the frightening text message, 25-year-old Irene Duku. She confessed that she sent the text message to Mutula Kilonzo's phone number as instructed by her boss, Bonface Mutwiwa. Senior Principal Magistrate Lucy Nyambura convicted Nduku on her own plea of guilty. She will be sentenced on the 25th of this month as court awaits the prosecution to produce a report on her social status. Sylvia Chebet, Citizen Live at 9.